So what is this? It's a residual current device, or an RCD for short. And it is also sometimes known as a trip switch. So how does it work? Well, it works by detecting any leakage of current from the circuit in excess of 30 milliamps. It monitors the current flowing in both the live and neutral wires. The circuit supplying electricity to portable tools or appliances that are plugged into socket outlets should be protected by an RCD. In normal conditions, the current flowing in the live and neutral wires are equal. But in fault conditions, these currents may no longer be equal. When the RCD detects a difference of 30 milliamps or more in these currents, it should trip in less than a third of a second, thus removing the supply from the affected circuit. So where should you find an RCD in a house? An RCD should be found on the fuse board or distribution board. It is important that the RCD be tested frequently, as this helps to ensure that it always functions correctly. How do you test an RCD? When you press the test button, the RCD should trip. You will generally see a T symbol on the test button of all RCDs supplied in this country. We at ETCI recommend that the RCD be tested at least twice yearly. For instance, when you move your clocks forward in the spring and back again in the autumn. RCDs are to be found on the distribution board in the home, in the workplace and on the farm. You can also plug a portable RCD into any socket outlet that you are using. Any portable appliance or tool connected to this will be protected. And more importantly, you will also be protected. If your house does not have an RCD, we recommend that one be installed immediately.